Welcome, everyone. My name is Poti, and today I will take the initiative to be the egoistic one who will talk about himself. <laughs> and uh, because my topic for today is my first job as a junior developer in a Bitcoin company in the Bitcoin environment. But before that, let's hear about the protagonist of the story, me. So my name is Farago Balash. I'm 23 years old and I work at Wasabi Wallet, which is a privacy-focused wallet, more on that later. And I would consider myself a beginner-level Bitcoiner. But like, what is a beginner-level Bitcoiner? I usually like to put Bitcoiners in like three big groups. One would be the market-level Bitcoiners, who are aware of Bitcoin, but uh, doesn't yet see the opportunity and the purpose of Bitcoin as a currency on its own in the future. They see the stock market way of Bitcoin. The second one is the beginner level Bitcoiners, like myself, who started contributing in Bitcoin in Wasabi Wallet, and actually is kind of getting there to understand more in depth. And the advanced level Bitcoiners, who are contributing to, uh, to Bitcoin for years now already, and you can actually have an in-depth talk with them. They are the Nicholas Doyers and the Peter Todds of our world, and probably a hundred more I could name if I wouldn't be a beginner level Bitcoiner. But I'm getting there, I promise, I'm on my way. So I graduated in middle school when I was 19, and after that, I didn't go to university. I thought that university mostly maybe for people who have some brief idea about what they want to do in the future, what they want to be when they grow up. And so they go to university to learn more, to increase their knowledge base, and then the university can lay down some roads for them to choose from. Now, I knew exactly what I want to do. I knew exactly that I want to be a programmer. I want to be a developer since I was a very child. And so I didn't go to university. I actually went for a bootcamp. It was a one and a half year long programming course where I basically learned everything uh, of what uh, company actually needs when they want to hire a developer, like version control, for example, which a lot of university doesn't teach you about. So I did this course, and after that, I went to an interview to Wasabi Wallet. They were like the sixth company where I went to, and they actually hired me. So since 2021, I am a Bitcoiner, so it's like two years into it. And what is Wasabi Wallet? It is a non-custodial, open source, and privacy-focused wallet, which you can access on your PC. You can download it on Windows, you can download it on Mac and Linux as well. And uh, how they achieve privacy? Well, this is the very first thing that I had to learn when I actually arrived to Wasabi. So when I arrived at the office, 2021, March 1st, no para. Adam Fitcher was waiting for me. If you were here last year, you heard him speak, probably. He was there, he sat me in a couch, and actually drew on the table something like this. A totally understandable, easily readable, perfect drawing about what a coin join is and what a problem there is I actually have to solve. Now, for some people who don't understand what is written here, come on, try better, it's totally understandable. Can, can't you see? No. Like, it was really hard for me to understand, but it is the very basics of a coin chain. What is a coin chain? Uh, you briefly already heard about it in some other talks. It is basically a big transaction with hundreds of inputs where people put in their coins, and on the output side, the coins are getting mixed together. So you put in your coin on one side, you get your money back minus the fees, but the amounts are switched up, so you put in one Bitcoin on the other side and you get back 0, 0.5, 0, 0.3, 0, 0.2 minus fees. But the point is that there are hundreds of other people who are putting in their coins on the input side. So on the outside, you will not be the only one who will have 0 0.5. There will be like 50 other people. So your anonymity set will be 15. The anonymity set is basically the number of indistinguishable inputs on the output side. Now, it was kind of a lot for me at the very first day, because I am a newcomer to Bitcoin still to this very day. And it's not just the way that he told me what the coin join is. He immediately told me that there is a bug in the software. Because when you open the wallet, you will see that your anonymity set is like 10, for example. But after 10 seconds, it will be go back to 1. 
So you will have one hour to fix this bug. Thank you, have fun, see you later. Okay, I guess I had one hour, one hour to solve this issue. It took me 30 minutes to start the wallet, overally. And after another like 30 minutes, I saw one line in the code which said anon set equals one. That might be it, maybe, probably, but after one hour, no product came back and he was asking like, so did you finish? Did you solve the issue? Nah, nah, I had no idea how to fix the issue. I was in shock. But at least I got somewhere with my colleague and uh, eventually Nopara told us that uh, he didn't actually wanted us to solve this issue. It was probably an issue that for a newcomer, for a junior developer who has zero knowledge about Bitcoin, it would be almost impossible. For like a, a senior developer who actually knows something about coding or knows something about Bitcoin, it can take like some days to find the root of the issue. He was only curious about how I would actually start solving this issue. So he tested me. And of course the bug was not on production side, it was just something uh, that was on the master branch and eventually got fixed later on. So he was just curious about how I would start solving this. And he was curious about three main skills that I think it's important. Your problem solving skill, how will you actually start thinking about the problem? How would you start solving it? The confidence, you're not starting to panic, you're not jumping from line to line one problem to another, you are going one by one, so you're not getting uh, confused on your own. And of course, the third one, using Google. Right? Finding my developers, fellow developers in the crowd, you are using Google, everyone is using Google, we all know. There is a problem, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, you just need to rephrase it, put it in Google, someone on Stack Overflow probably solved it for yourself, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel, as I said. Using Google is actually very important that I had to learn. In the school that I was learning programming, there was actually a one week long topic about how to use Google correctly. You will, you will be shocked about how hard it is for some people to actually use Google. So this is how I started contributing to Bitcoin. But uh, for someone who doesn't know Bitcoin at all or doesn't know developing, how would he, how would, would she, or he starts contributing to Bitcoin. For them, I would say if you have zero idea about Bitcoin or economics or anything, maybe the Bitcoin standard book could be a good way to start if you have zero idea about any of these. Or if you know something about Bitcoin but you're more into development, more likely, there is a really good GitHub book written, uh, written by Nopara and Nicola Storia, Programming the Blockchain in C-Sharp. It is a very interesting read. Uh, that's where I started my development in Bitcoin. Indian YouTubers, the best. They helped me through the school. They are really cool and really great. And uh, I would also say that like almost everyone in the Bitcoin community is there to help. They all have one great goal. They are all here to solve the big work problems, to solve money, to fix it. I mean, we are still going to one direction. There might be different roads, and we are here to actually help you to choose the perfect road for you, how to, con how to contribute to Bitcoin. So here I am, two years in Bitcoin, and I am still learning. I still feel like that I don't know enough. But like, is that actually surprising? It's just like the IT world. It's ever growing. It's getting better, it's getting different, new bits are getting introduced, it's ever changing. There are infinite possibilities on where to and how to improve Bitcoin. So it's not really a surprise that I still feel like I don't know enough, but it's not like it will, it will not change. It will just take time. It will just take ambition. And for someone who wants to contribute to Bitcoin and actually make this whole project a better thing, I would say that all you need is ambition. And this is the most My Little Pony like plot twist ever. All you need is love, it's friendship, that's the answer. But for real, ambition. One day you wake up, one leg after another, you stand up and you say, yes, today I will win that book. 
I will contact someone on email. I will join a Slack group or a Telegram book. I will open an issue on GitHub. I will start looking into it. And once you start looking into it, and you get a brief understanding how Bitcoin actually working on the economic side, on the development side, it's your choice. One day a wave will come and the wave will take you and you get on your surfboard and you just go along with it. It could be jiggly at the very beginning, but if you're standing still on it and you're going hard to the very beginning, it will take you so far. It will take you to the moon and beyond. And that's exactly all. Thank you for listening.